I like it. Woohoo! And then pull some pressure and off you go. That's how you do it. First touch and go. Nice work. Funky, funky, funky. There's two things going on at once here with Mr. John. The first thing was I, I wanted to weight test the light trike. He's a 300 pound-ish fella. I wanted to make sure that the trike would hold someone that big. If they could fit in the harness, I'd like the trike to be available to him and, and strong enough to hold up that amount of weight. And the first time he got on it, it bottomed out. But I was able to lift about 20 pounds of pressure and he came up an inch. So I thought, well, it's close. So. I did a simple recalculation on the suspension and recabled it a little bit. Changed a little bit of the geometry about the whole system. And it works great now. There was an issue with the front tire. It's a run flat tire, foam. We took it down the damn taxiway too fast and probably melted the foam and it got a flat spot in it. I got extra tires. You can take the rims that, I, that came with them and put a pneumatic tire on there, like a bicycle tire inner tube. And that's ultimately what I'm gonna do with that tire. We just been riding on it with the flat spot and the thing seems to be working just fine like that as well for grass operations we're gonna treat this one at grass operations only no taxiing down the taxiway like what you're gonna see in this video i've zoomed in and checked out some things about my design of the trike to see if, it, if my thoughts was valid or not so first design feature if you look here you can see that the wheels are wide this is a 150 centimeter hoop i got the biggest hoop they offered the expanded hoop and I've still got the tires much wider than that though. So the stance is wide. It's also flexible. It's got a little flex to it. So there's that, but it's also strong enough, you know, to be determined. But if my calculations are right, it, it should be plenty strong for normal flying activities. If you crash it and it breaks, it breaks. We fix it. That's another feature that I hope we don't get to test soon, but it's there if we need it. But it's the self-stabilizing nature of the ultra wide and swept tail wheels on the light trike that give it the forgiveness. Watching this example here is Jonathan almost tumps it over on his first launch and it and he's still sort of sort of not going with it yet. And as soon as he corrects, the thing immediately gets back under the wing and he's straight again. So there's some advantage to the design as well, physics wise. Oh, who's texting me? I gotta read that. Hey, do you have students today? I do. I do have students today but she may want to get off early. I'll have to find out what's going on. Looks like I may be going into the drugstore for a couple minutes today. That may allow me time to edit this video. So maybe there's that. Hadn't done a vlog in a while. We got some big development going on today. Look at this big monstrosity growing out here. No, it looks like a tiny little cloud in the GoPro, but I think that's the size to it and it's getting bigger. Might drop some rain in the area. But this is Jonathan's training and the trike testing. That's what this video is about. Hope you enjoy it. Now at this point in his training, he's had all the classroom curriculum. He's done the trike trainer on numerous occasions. And this was his initial familiarization with the flying craft. He had him out in the grass doing his runs. And I just asked him, hey, just do a quick one down the taxiway and let me video it for video purposes. And that's what this footage is. Mr. Jonathan. Number one. Round one. Whenever you're ready, man. It's just a matter of hitting the gas and doing what you've been doing. Had a rip, tater chip. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And everything snowballed from here a little bit. Dumping the power at any point after the inflation is usually a big negative. Now that's not discounting coming out to half power, but completely dumping it and then reapplying it almost always causes a huge oscillation and big trouble. Oh, no, no, no. Don't come off the power. Don't come off Notice how I said getting back on it. Coming off the power for an abort situation is crucial. You gotta dump it if you're gonna stop. And that's what he did here. Okay, Kill. Whoa, whoa, turn toward it, turn toward it, turn toward it. Okay, under it, now go. Steer, 
pressure, 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 pressure. A little bit of pressure. There you go. Hey, you flying. All right, I think we need to break this one down a little bit. His inflation was good. He was on the power. His wing was coming up straight. There was no variation in it. After the inflation, look, it's perfect. So all he's got to do now is let go of the A's, and he's still hanging on to the A's. He's still hanging on to the A's. He lets go of them right about here. He finally comes into the brakes. Of course, I was calling pressure, 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 pressure. At this point, the wing's going right, and it's starting to turn him over a little bit. You can see back left wheel's up off the ground, but because the right one's sticking out far, it's holding him down. He's also got some right brake input in there. And you can see, now he spent a bunch of time on the trainer, so he should have known better than this. Now he's steering toward it. He gets under it. As soon as he gets under it, it's stable, and he's straight. Now he just needs to pull that equal pressure again. And he, he was a bit confused about it, and there's a lot going on during your first launch. So he pulls pressure, but then look, he dumps it and chili dips it and bangs in. Then he pulls it again and up he goes. And finally, he completes a successful takeoff. Hey, you're flying full power. Let's climb. It's easy once you're in there. All right, try a turn, Jonathan. Let's go one to the left. Just pull your left hand down, raise your right hand up, and around you'll go. What'd you think about that? What happened? And this is where he hit his first little bit of turbulence. I saw it buck a little. Right there across the street at that hotel was where I first learned to swim. There used to be a swimming pool there. And I remember the first time that I was going to learn to dive into the pool and go swim in the deep end. How unnerving that was to just to just dive into the unknown. And I had a, you know, an emotionable, emotionable. <laughs> I had a fear response. Some people, when they go flying for the first time, they have a similar response. But I got a pilot here, Jonathan, and Jonathan, he, he had kind of a kind of a fear response, I guess, to going off into the unknown and piloting a craft into the air. Yeah, I mean, you're at a safe altitude. That's about a minimum right there. Like you wouldn't want to fly around much lower because that doesn't give you any time. If you have a motor out, you got to be able to glide back into the field. Just go up there and enjoy it for a minute, man. Fly some, fly some circles around the field. Always be ready to glide into the field though. If you have trouble, breathe easy, man. You, you, the hard part's over. Landing's pretty straightforward. If you start feeling sick or something, just, just say the word. We'll bring it on in. But just, just get up there and feel it, man. You're on your craft now. You're flying around. You got the speeds. You got the altitude. You're in a good spot. Practice your turns. Just, just fly it around. You're in control. You can go through your throttle. You can ease all the way off, and you can go all the way full power. Just practice your throttle motion, easing into it and easing out of it. All right. That's a real shallow turn. I believe you could steepen it up a little bit. There it is. You felt a little wind or something? Yeah, sometimes you'll run into those little little things. So what the plan was, was for a low approach with a go around. We had talked about it before the camera came on. Just wanted to fill you in on the scenario and you'll see what happens. So we got zero wind, so you're still descending. Just keep it straight. You want to fly that, fly that line, fly right through it. Now you're drifting, don't drift. Use your hands, use your hands, not your, not your throttle. Just a touch of right, there you go. You feel that? Now you're back. Yeah, you're on it. That's an approach. Now add a little power, come into the power. Easy, hold it, hold it. A little pan pressure, you'll feel the lift. Pressure, you feel that? Now, now add power, add power, add power, add power, add power. Full power, full power. Oh, he's landing. Okay, if you wanna, if you wanna stop, stop. You're out of room. Dude, check it out, you landed good. I was gonna let you go around and start doing some touch and goes with you. Yeah, man, we'll take a break. You gotta get the needle out of your arm first. Nice work. That's morning flights for you. Everybody's still half asleep. It wasn't, wasn't half bad for a first trike flight. I liked it. A little different than the trainer, but you, you're cued in. You turn toward the wing on your takeoff. Landing was amazing. You just touched down so soft. Nice. So then we came back for his second session of flying. And he still had a little bit of bobble on the takeoff. Like he's losing control a little bit. There was a power bobble, got a little crooked, but he recovered and then got stable and did a, a successful takeoff. But what we did was we took the footage that you actually see in this video and went back for like a, a debrief review session. And we did some chalkboard and some lessons. And I believe that that was going to be more appropriate than doing another flight and, and still having some issues. For him to watch it, digest, and then come back to it, it's going to end up better learning for him. But let's look at this footage together. It should be beautiful. Just stay in the power. Stay in the power. 
Stay in it, stay in it. Let's go to the right. To your right, to the foot. Stay in it now. And what we've got here is just a good old classic case of overcorrection. Let's look at it in slow motion and break it down. I'm telling him his wing is going right. Look, he corrects to the right with his feet. Great. But he keeps going. He passes the center, and now he's all the way over there on the other side of the wing. And then he's got to correct back for it. Wing overshoots him a little bit. He's not into his hands either. He's still lacking his hand pressures. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Feel that? That's what you want. See how much, see as soon as you get off the ground, it gets stable. Nice. Nothing to it, man. The track's pretty damn safe. It sort of self-corrects. That's okay. It'll be there. Fly through it. Just keep climbing. It's only one side of the conversation. I'm going to put in all the things that I said to him. And I just turned the camera on and off. Anytime he came into the field to do a pass or a touch and go attempt, an approach to the field. That's the first thing we like to learn when we learn to fly is how to do an approach into the field because good approach makes for good landing. And as you'll see here, he's, uh, he's much improved. He's got a good foundation to build on with this. And uh, we're going to go from there. But uh, one-sided video, here it goes. So you look like you're floating there. So think about the line, which way you're flying. Yeah, just give it, give it a little pressure on whichever way you need to go. Like if it's going to the left, add a little right and it'll straighten out for you. It feels good, doesn't it? You got control, man. You can turn a little to the right, turn a little to the left. Let's add some power and go back around. Just ease into it and then control your steering. There you go. That's how you'll come in at the field, just like that. Except you'll be much lower when you get to the field, but you feel how it leveled out nice? You just start out ahead of time. There's an airplane in motion down there. Keep your eye on him. Go ahead and get some altitude. Let's go full power climb. If it's not steady, don't touch it. If it's steady, you can touch it. That's in regards to the ground. Only touch if you're stable. You do whatever's best. Very good, very good, very good. I like it. Woohoo! Then pull some pressure and off you go. That's how you do it. First touch it, go. Nice work. That's the control right there. Well, you'd make that decision. If you're not straight or anything's weird, don't try it. But see, you you were you would have landed right at the end of the field. That's where you come into it early. A little more. The, yeah, yeah. Because it's not going to push when you squeeze it unless you got it already. And what I'm describing here is throttle adjustments. He makes a mistake by changing his throttle application while at critical low altitude. And what that does is it messes up everything. Avoid sudden throttle changes when near the ground is my best advice to anyone. And you can see that he aborts trying to touch the ground because he was unstable. And then use your hands to fine tune. Not bad. I think you could have did it though. I think you could have. And what's going on here is the previously mentioned airplane that was in motion is now taking on the runway and he's about to do a departure. Now the airplane pilot and me are close friends. He's been dodging my paramotor students for many years. So I know it's no factor. He knows what's up. But uh, but Jonathan was nervous, decided to land. That's okay. He's, he's over there. You're over here. You're fine. Yeah. Make it count. Steer under the wing. There you go. Kill your motor. And then just steer under the wing. Whichever way it goes, you go. Booyah. Nice work. Jonathan said he likes it more, but the airplane made him nervous. And so he decided to commit to it. It's a good landing. He did a beautiful touch and go. That may have been the best first touch and go I've ever seen. <laughs> it may have been. Nice work, Jonathan. How you feeling? Uh, a lot better than this morning. Nice. Every time you do it, it gets better. Every yeah. time. It just builds. Each one builds on the last one. It's like any new thing. Kylo approved. He's going to do fine. So that's it for the video. I hope it finds you well. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and watching the video all the way to the end. I'll see you guys real soon in the next one. Much love. Kyle out. <laughs>